hi guys i hope you're having a lovely day today welcome to my channel today i'm going to be trying out the new nyx cosmetics can't stop won't stop mattifying powder and this just launched and i was really excited to try it out just because i've been obsessed with trying out um new complexion products and this is super affordable so i thought why not um but yeah let's go ahead and try this out and let's get started with the video okay guys so the nyx can't stop won't stop mattifying powder retails for eight dollars and they have a total of 12 shades available the shade that i chose is light medium which i hope matches me and overall i've been really into um powder foundations lately this seems more to be sort of like a setting or finishing powder but i do want to try it out on its own without having like any foundation under just because i want to try the powder alone just to see what i can do with it with my skin but if it does work out i do plan on using it maybe like over a tinted moisturizer or something like that but according to nyx this is their first all-day matte and smooth powder infused with oil absorbing rice powder and it's a mattifying pressed powder that provides an all-day smooth matte finish with no transfer no smudge no makeup interruption and it offers a sheer coverage with a non-drying and non-ashy finish. For all skin tones, it is lightweight and comfortable. So, sounds great. Now, I do have dry skin. So, if it works out for my skin and you have oily skin, this is probably the best thing for you. With my dry skin, when I try out anything that's like a powder form, I always like to like hydrate really well. So, if you have oily skin, do your regular routine. But for me, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to first go in with the Glow Recipe Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum. Um, right here just to make sure that my skin is nice and hydrated and for for moisturizer I'm going to use the first day beauty hello fab coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer and Once that is set, I'm going to prime with the Too Faced hangover replenishing face primer So I'm going to apply all of that one at a time and let it set and then we'll get started with the powder application So everything is nice and set now and I decided to go ahead and apply my concealer before I do the powder foundation just because I don't like applying liquids over powders and the one that I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Beige. Okay guys, so again I'm going to use the shade Light Medium and let me give you a close up of it in case you want to see how it looks. That's what that looks like. It has a cute little heart in the middle, really cute. So the brush that I'm gonna apply with is this Tarte um, foundation brush. I've had this for years and I decided to use this because I saw someone on the next Instagram page using something similar, um, like a very dense, sort of flat on the top kind of a brush. And it doesn't come with an applicator and I just don't know what to use. So I'm gonna just attempt to use this. And remember that this is supposed to offer sheer coverage. So I'm just getting some of that powder. I'm just getting some of that powder on the brush and here we go okay so sheer like they said but i'm gonna attempt to build it it feels really soft and smooth right away i like that it wasn't harsh um it offers sheer coverage so i'm not expecting it to like change my skin as soon as i apply it but i was more so looking for instant cakiness which i get with some powders with my dry skin as soon as i try to apply it everything just looks broken on my skin but this applied very smoothly so i like that i have a lot of redness going on and i did want to show i'm going to apply on this side and then compare i have a lot of texture around my skin which is normal i'm 30 years old i have texture i have redness going on normal skin so I'm just looking to see what it does to it and to see if it's worth the $8. Let me try to apply here. I'm gonna press around this red cheek area near my nose where it's really red and also um, I tend to get a lot of breaking apart around here. I just wanna see, see like right there started to blur it, like it doesn't look as red. So it does look really pretty. Like definitely it looks like my skin, like I'm not wearing anything. Um, I'm looking in the mirror. I hope it looks the same on camera, but 
Okay. See, I have this um, glowiness going on from all of the moisturizing products that I applied. Let me attempt to apply it to the, my forehead and see what happens. See, it is instantly um, like mattifying it, which is what you're looking for with this powder. So it is doing that. So that's really, really nice. I'm kind of pressing the brush a little harder just to see if I can get more product. I'm pressing it into my skin. I'm attempting not to swipe because I have bad luck with that with my skin. If I swipe, um, everything kind of gets weird and starts disappearing. So I'm gonna press. I can see it um, mattifying my glowy skin, which is what it claims to do, so that's great, but I also don't feel like my skin changed. Oh, and by the way, I do think this is a good shade for me. I've had amazing luck recently, except for like one or two products. Everything that I've chosen, um, that I've tried out recently, and I've been trying a lot of makeup, has matched me. So I'm really happy with the shade. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to do a side by side. I applied all the way up to here. I should have stopped in the middle right here. But this is with, well, this is without. You have all the redness still, the glowiness peeking through. And here it looks more matte, more even. But it looks like my skin, in my opinion, looking in the mirror, it looks like I didn't apply anything. It just looks like maybe I'm not shiny. And also like I'm having a good skin day, which is amazing. And yeah. that's exactly what I would expect from this product um, based on the way that it's being marketed. Um, like it's mattifying and it's a soft matte finish. And I do see that. And I can imagine after applying like bronzer, blush, and highlighter and everything else, that it will look really nice. Like a natural matte looking makeup which sounds really pretty so i do really enjoy it i'm gonna attempt to build it up just a little bit more and also finish off the rest of my face but what do you guys think so far do you see a difference it is a sheer coverage but see like here i see my um bumpiness and redness peeking through a little bit but it looks a lot more matte and perfected a little bit but you still see it which in my opinion is what i would expect from this product it doesn't um it doesn't offer full coverage not even medium coverage so so far i think it's a win for real so let me apply it to the rest of my face okay guys so i applied it to the rest of my face and again i feel like it does provide only like a sheer amount of coverage but it did a really good job of mattifying my face and i did want to show you like a close-up i still have my texture peeking through um so yeah that's expected but i still want to show that because i feel like a lot of times when people try on powder foundations it looks like there's no texture maybe it's a filter i don't know but i do have texture which i'm not trying to get rid of but you still have the like my texture really peeking through right here but it's not as red which i do appreciate it's perfect for like wearing having it on the go like in your purse if you find a good applicator that you can hide in here and just i don't know making your face look a little nicer but very natural um without having to like apply liquid and everything so it, i think it does look really pretty and natural in my opinion i would love to use this with like a tinted moisturizer i, I think that's what i'm going to try out next time because it's matte but i don't see it drying my skin so far yet but i am going to do a word test but i'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and i'll show you guys and then we'll do a word test throughout the day so stay tuned okay guys i wanted to update you about the powder i've been wearing it for hours now as you can see the rest of my makeup is all completed i'm doing an eyeshadow tutorial for a palette so this look took a long time to create this eyeshadow look and i think i've been wearing this for over two and a half hours now yes because i took a break with my kids like i was doing a lot, a lot of stuff and to be completely honest i really expected by this time to have like some breaking up of the powder on my skin I don't know why I just didn't I like the way that it looked earlier so I expect it for some reason since it's so powdery I thought that it would might start um, getting cakey but it hasn't it looks so natural let me give you a close-up um, my most troublesome areas here my cheeks with the um, texture and the redness looks pretty natural to me texture is there you see like some redness peeking through but it looks more blurred and more perfected and just it just looks natural which i really really actually love my forehead which was extremely um it has a lot of texture and redness going on too looks really nice as well and it's really holding up so that makes me really really happy uh today's a very hot day it's 100 degrees outside today and i'm gonna attempt to do like um a light test like a natural lighting test i should say and i'm also going to keep wearing it for the rest of the day but i've had it on for about two and a half to three hours now and i'm still very pleased i did not think that it would do this well for some reason 
but um, it also worked really nicely with the other powders that I applied. I applied some bronzer, some blush, some highlighter, and I had absolutely no trouble. So I actually think this is a winner. I can totally see myself using this. Like I said earlier, I've said it like five times already over a, like a tinted moisturizer. Like my favorite at the moment is the Milani Glow Hydrating Skin Tint. Yes. And this over that might be perfect so let's go ahead and do a natural light test and i'm also gonna keep wearing it throughout the day and give you guys updates okay guys this is what my skin looks like in natural lighting right now about three hours in and i'm really pleased it looks really natural like i was saying earlier you can see my texture uh, my bumpiness peeking through but it's natural, it looks more blurred, and I really enjoy the way that it looks. Okay guys, so I've been wearing this um, powder. I wanna call it a powder foundation. Technically it's not, but to me, I used it as, as a foundation today. And I've been wearing it for about eight hours now. Might not seem like it, but, but that's because this product performs so nicely. I reapplied my lip products. Um, I've been, all day I've been inside the house. I did go out for like five to 10 minutes. It was too hot to be out. You still feel the heat inside the house. And in my opinion, wow this performs so nicely let me get close up to you guys it still looks really great i think you have more you have more texture peeking through around my areas like my cheek near my nose my forehead a little bit more but it looks so nice because i don't have um oily skin but i do get dewy throughout the day so if you're looking for something to not make you dewy i don't mind but some people do mind I have no doingness going on. I don't get it. And like everyone in my house is sweating. So to be honest, I'm very impressed. I really enjoyed it. I did not think I would love it as much as I do. And I had no issues. I really expected by this time. Yeah, let me get really close to you guys. I really expected by this time to be having some cakiness going on or even just look very dewy and kind of sweaty. But no, I like it. I feel like this is just my skin, but a little better. Like here around here just looks like my natural texture skin, which I love. Um, but it looks a little better. Almost, almost like I'm just having a good skin day. And to be honest, I'm having like a hormonal day for my skin. It's that time of the month. And I actually have like a few breakouts that I normally don't like around here. Like, you know, my skin is more sensitive today than it usually is. And it performed super nicely. I am very impressed. And next time, I'm definitely going to go ahead and try it over my um, one of my tinted moisturizers. And I love it. I don't know what else to say because I feel like I repeat myself over and over. I really was going to be critical and try and find something wrong. But no, the only thing that I can say, if you like a powder foundation or a powder product to cover up a lot, this is not the product for you. This is definitely sheer coverage. Um, but again, I tested it on, on its own and my skin looks nice. So I can only imagine over a foundation. So keep that in mind but overall i'm very happy with it i think this product is going to be perfect for people with oily skin because my super dry skin definitely survived it but that's going to be the end of today's video i hope that i didn't miss anything because i go back and forth with the same things in my mind if you have any questions about today's um product or anything let me know in the comments i hope that you enjoyed it if you guys did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me so i know to keep making more videos like this one don't forget to subscribe before you go and i'll see you all in my next video enjoy the rest of your day Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.